everyone. Hope you guys are doing good out there, beautifuls. We are wondering if you have heard about an upcoming event in July, July 13th and 14th. What is that? It is a retreat that we're going to be facilitating at the Bishop DeFalco Center. Yes, it is our second 4-2 overnight stay. We hope that you are able to join us. And if you're interested in that, I'll leave the information in the comments below. And we look forward to maybe learning and seeing and getting to know. Um, getting to know you. <laughs> we look forward to meeting new couples. So if you haven't joined us, we'd love to have you. Well, even the old couples that we do yes, know, that we, we haven't seen in a while, we'd love for you guys to come join and, us. Yes. Okay. So today we're going to talk about just that. We recently in April went on a marriage retreat and we were able to just receive. Usually Tino and I are facilitating this stuff, so it was nice to just go and mm -hmm. be and just immerse ourselves in this. And we're sharing with you, and all the month of May was dedicated to some of the fruits that we received while at this retreat. Oh, it wasn't anything new. It was just really nice to be refreshed and grounded back on what is important. And you always love to say that we got to get back to the basics. Yes, always. And so we're going to dive in on what that's all about and some of the fruit that we received that weekend. But before we go there, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to Love Fully Live so that way you are notified whenever a new video comes up. And also, if you can, share us with a friend, a loved one, because we just love being able to journey in this relationship with you. And we're growing right alongside, so this is what it means to be community, right? Yes. To be in communion with one another. He's so dying to, to do something crazy. Okay, so we're gonna jump in. Love is merciful. Love is kind. <laughs> Love is gentle. Okay, so, but we're focusing on mercy. Love is mercy. And when I think about what that is, to me, I automatically go to the Our Father. Because our, our good God, our merciful Father, is forgiving. And I've been forgiven much. And, it, and it's, for me, I focus on the Our Father because early on in me coming back to the church, I think it was our spiritual director that had me focus in on the prayer, but words from the Our Father jumped out at me, and the words that I remember being, you know, early on that just kind of stuck out there were, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Mm. Yeah, those were pretty hard, especially when I wasn't in a place to forgive. Not only others, but including myself. And so that resonated really deep with me. And until I was able to truly, freely forgive, then I was able to pray out loud and be receptive of the prayer myself. And so it put everything into perspective. And for me, God's mercy was that much more bigger than my merciful heart. And so when we correlate what love is, that's what we're meant to live out, right? Love is merciful. So we become that mercy for one another. So love, 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 love. So let's go ahead and, and go to the catechism and we'll see what it says about mercy. But it says mercy, the loving kindness, compassion or forbearance shown to the one who offends. Shown to the ones who offends. Mm. Loving kindness. Mm-hmm. Shown to the ones who offend. Shown to the one, not the ones, but to the one. <laughs> the one who offends. <laughs> Let's take it one offender at a time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> Sometimes we can only handle one. Okay, but I mean, so that's mercy, right? Love yes. is merciful. And the second piece to this kind of leads right into it, and it just flows in there. And it kind of like, I love the image of the Divine Mercy Chaplet because you visualize God's mercy flowing. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Good job, babe. But, okay, so anyhow, <laughs> love is merciful and love is sacrificial. sacrificial. So love is a sacrifice. What does that mean? What does that even look like? And again, I, I God just reveals these things to me because I, I, I want to know what this looks like concretely. And of course, we look at the crucifix and there's nothing greater than that sacrifice than for a friend to lay down his life for another. It's exactly what he did. And that's what we're called to do in our marriages. But I like to look at it also 
in Mass, when we attend Mass and we lay ourselves at the altar, we become this offering and, and God just receives it in all of it. And some of that is sacrifice. In marriage, in married love, we're called to daily sacrifice. I mean, little, from little things to huge things. And it's a constant laying down of our lives. And I, I don't know about you, but I love the fact that we can continue to say, I do. You know, it just didn't happen once at the altar, I did. It's a constant, I do. And in the sacrament of matrimony, it's till death comes. So that means I do <laughs> all the way out there, wherever. Till is. infinity, yes. So, <laughs> so love is merciful, love is sacrificial. And um, I think we had something else, didn't you? Yeah, so in the Catechism 829, the fruits of charity, which the fruits of love are joy, peace, and mercy. Charity demands beneficence and fraternal correction. So that beneficence, it, it's kind of a twofold word if, if I got on to it in your Google correctly. It means that it demands an act. It demands an act, as it says in the catechism. Beneficence demands an act. And there's also a beneficiary to that mm -hmm. act. So whether it's the uh, offenders or the offenders, Offended. <laughs> the offendee. Um, th there's an act that has to take place, and the act is love, and that's what we want to focus on that love, uh, which equals mercy. Yes, and so reflecting back on that retreat that we received, the husband of the, of the two, a beautiful couple from Canada, came and facilitated the marriage retreat. He said, and put it out there, and he was literally speaking, Men, are you willing to take a bullet? for your wife and and you know i chuckle at it now because i'm thinking metaphorically yeah, there's a lot of bullets that i've taken for him or he's taken a lot of bullets for me and and i put that in everyday life so my bullets would be although it may not affect him as as it does me but i love back rubs i don't like to reciprocate them i mean i love to receive them but i don't like to give them and so a bullet for me would be to take the initiative and give one in return Another bullet for me is I don't like sports watching. No, I don't. And I would literally be taking a bullet if I sat beside my beloved and just was receiving him and being in his presence and just sitting, you know, even though I didn't enjoy it. I mean, I'd enjoy it because I'd be with him. And so those are little bullets that we can do in our everyday lives. Now, when I asked Tina, what are some of those bullets you've taken for me? And I'm thinking dishes, laundry. What was the other one I said? Ironing. Oh, I didn't get to the ironing. Yeah, I don't like ironing. Yeah. That's a big one for me. So anyway, <laughs> and he came up. <laughs> His are really big. So what were you going to talk about? Uh, so my bullet, you know, I, I didn't want to, and I don't want to, just didn't want it to sound petty that, you know, the, the dishes or yeah. vacuuming wasn't important, but it is. You know, it's important to, yes. to our wives for, for whatever it is. In the midst of everyday life. In the midst of everyday life, just to do that. Uh, but we were talking about uh, about a year, well, more than a year, almost uh, two and a half years ago now. Uh, Stephanie had uh, come to the family and wanted to uh, um, ask uh, what we thought about moving her mother my mother-in-law in and, and uh that took you know an act of, of of charity love and it but during that act of love that charity and uh, it wasn't just something that i was oh yes let this let's, let's let's move your mother-in-law in <laughs> by any means i'm being real I, I i just said well man it's gonna just take something and i knew that in the back of my head and what it was going to take it was going to take some of the selfishness that i thought that i needed what I needed from Stephanie that time or, or that love, like sitting by me, those little the things, attention. Uh, the attention and things were going to change around the house. Didn't know what, maybe it was me doing more dishes. Maybe mm. it was me uh, picking up the house a little bit more uh, because, you know, her mom was on the downside of her health. You know, she could still do a lot of things for herself, uh, but there was something she couldn't do, doctor's appointments, drive and can, things like that. And so I knew that I had to step up. I had to take some of the bullets. And those bullets were some of her fatigue, her tiredness. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, maybe some of her, her short fusedness, if that's a, even a word, fuseness, <laughs> but the short fuse, uh, and, and kind of step in and do those things, things that I really didn't want to do. Uh, and I'll be honest, it, it, I didn't, you know, and, and but as, as, as God works in his, his wonderful, mysterious ways, I mean, uh, his grace is in, in the prologue of John. Grace upon grace was given to us when we allowed uh, mercy to come into our home. And that mercy was to take care of uh, her mom and to see her. Little did we know at that time, uh, it would be in her last year and a half of life that we would take her. And uh, we were going to daily mass. Uh, it was something that drove us, just drove us nothing. Well, we need to go to daily mass. It was something that just automatic, uh, automatically came to us because we needed that grace through the yeah. Eucharist and, 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 and just receiving. We uh, also would frequent confession a whole lot. Yes. Um, we I would, saw a lot of Father Jen yeah, during that you know, time. To a lot of Monsignor Rex at St. Mary's, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and, then, and the sacrament of confession. What was beautiful is that... The, the, the last month of my mom's life, uh, the whole household had made a trip to confession. Mm -hmm. Nothing that we had planned, but everyone on their own initiative received the sacrament of confession. And I think it's important to also reflect mm -hmm. and point out that that grace upon mm -hmm. grace, it wasn't just for us. It was in particular to prepare my mom to go mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. And that's the beautiful love that God has for us. Yeah. That's merciful. Yeah. That's sacrificial. Yeah. As a family, we were able to engage, engage. in all of that. Yeah. So. And I do know one of the things I was talking to the uh, one of our guy friends is, is, you know, we would sit on the porch and have a couple libations and, uh, you know, they're like, wow, you know, you, you know, you let your mother law move in. It's not that I let, it was just something that needed to be done. And I did remember mentioning to him that, you know, there's healing that's taking place. Mm -hmm. Uh, forgiveness, you know, not only between Stephanie and her mom, but the whole family, uh, you know, and, and looking through uh, the grace that has been given to me, I was able to see that. If you look at one of our uh, other episodes on, on love and, and, and putting yourself in the other shoes, yeah. uh, you were, were able to see from other people's point of view. And oh, it was just, it was, it was just awesome. It was. Mm -hmm. it, it has been. And God continues to do what he's doing. And that's what it is. This, this is what love fully life is all about, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, is to be able to encourage one another and lift each other up, especially in those times when we feel like we're completely alone. You're not. Don't let the mm -hmm. enemy lie to you. We're in this together. Yes. It is all yes. about becoming one with one mm -hmm. another in our marriages, yes. but also becoming one with his bride, the church. Mm -hmm. And that's you out there, our listeners. And so we hope that you continue to support Love Fully Alive yes. and continue to share this channel with your friends and your loved ones because it's that's what it's about. It's being able to walk this hand in hand and intentionally live this love more fully mm -hmm. alive. And so the takeaway from this is mercy. How will we encounter it yes. on, on a daily basis? I know one of our prayers as I get up is uh, in its routine is, you know, uh, I thank you and praise you and adore you. And I thank you for this wonderful day that you allow us to get up and to search for you and to serve you. And sometimes it is uh, to search for you in that mercy and serve you in that mercy. So take that act, whatever the, the, the beneficence, beneficence. Uh, that's being uh, shown upon you, uh, act on it, act on it. It doesn't always uh, come to you in, in, in concrete ways where you know, oh, this is the chance. It's gonna be in one of those things like, oh, do I have to? I really don't have time to do this or I'm in a hurry or, I really don't want to. I think, you know, take a, a step back, look at the other's point of view, and then act on it. Yes. All right, brothers and sisters, I think this is it for today. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to Love Fully Alive. God bless. And goodbye. Here, we got to do that again. So I'll say God bless, and you say goodbye. Okay? <laughs> Ready? Should I sing it? <laughs> goodbye. You can think of it. Okay. No. Ready? One, two, three.